Hello, welcome to Bad Food Vlog. It's a Sunday lunchtime and as is often tradition here after we go shopping, we come home and we try like a new type of pizza. And we often do this with new and interesting pizzas and what we've got today is some brand new pizzas that I've got to say were ludicrously expensive. They were £4.50 each. Really expensive. This is 50p off. Apparently they're normally going to be like £5. Let's see if they're worth buying. They are apparently sourdough pizzas and they're called Imperia. And this is Imperia sourdough pizza. I think this is because this one has prosciutto ham, basil pesto, and creamy garlic sauce. So this one doesn't have a tomato base. This is my wife's favorite. I'll be trying a slice of this. She doesn't wish to review on television because I call her my assistant. So she doesn't want to review it on YouTube. This one, from the outside, the box looks pretty incredible. So let's go and take it out and put it on a pizza tray. If we have any clean, yeah, we do. I was worried I was going to have to wash one after. It's always a concern. And party barbecue cooking will be next week. It's going to be interesting to have people over, but they don't want to be on the YouTube video. So there may be shots of their feet. <laughs> so let's have a look. Wow. For a start, the pizza base looks about 90% cooked. There is a large amount of ham on this. A lot more than I was expecting. Also, the type of plastic crinkling is a fairly common one with frozen pizzas, but not with fresh pizzas. So I'm pretty... Normally, fresh pizzas come with the, um, the more sort of cling filmy type plastic wrap. Which, for my mind, is single-use plastics, and we're supposed to be getting rid of these. Um, okay, the pesto isn't evenly spread over the pizza. The cheese is and the ham is. But I'm pretty impressed with the way the ham looks. That looks like it's going to be good. So, mmm, smell is amazing. This really is one of the best smelling pizzas I've had. So, let's have a look at the ingredients. It only cooks in 10 to 11 minutes on 190 degrees. I got the oven temperature slightly out. Lower that by 10 degrees, but it hasn't got up to temperature yet. So we're looking for this sourdough type consistency. A mother dough starter was created to sourdough pizza brace after slow proving 24 hours in a wooden oven, then added to topping by hand. So we're just reheating something that is essentially already cooked. Cool. Let's go for the second one, which is the margarita sourdough pizza by Costa and Moluca. This one looks exactly the same as the other one, apart from the fact that this is just tomato and Sicilian oregano. Um, okay, tomato, mozzarella, and oregano. So those are the three ingredients it claims. On the ingredients list, we have milk, non vegetable rennet. So the cheese, so it's non vegetarian, this pizza. Okay, so if you're a vegetarian and you think this is a good vegetarian pizza, this is made from cow's milk um, and it's using rennet, so it's not really vegetarian safe. Oh, right, the oven's up to temperature. Ooh, it's even got some oregano on top. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay. Let's pop these two in the oven. Here we are at the oven. These uh, first two pizzas are going in. I think, oh, I need to reorganize the oven trays. I don't know if you ever get this, but you, um, you end up moving them around drastically for different types of food. But being right on the top there is really bad for pizza. And even the second one down isn't great. Those are the two best ones for pizza. And so let's look at this. Uh, I think I'm going to have to buy an eyeball these because fan ovens differ so much. All I'm going to do is put them like that so I can see both of them and see how they go. Right, while those two are cooking, let's have a look at the last one. Okay, right, pizza's in the oven already. First one's coming out. Here we go, this is the margarita. This is what she looks like, looking pretty good actually. Let's get this one in the oven. There we go. This one's now going in the oven. Alexa, alarm 11 minutes. Oh, and 
here's the garlic one. So there we go. Wow, don't they both look impressive? I'm not overcooking this one because this is ready. Um, I don't want to overcook either of them really. But let's get the pizza cutter out and slice them up. I don't know where the pizza cutter is. We don't have a pizza cutter. Okay, I'll just use a knife. Okay, let's start off with this one. Oh, the sourdough bread is very hard, and that's what I was worried about cooking them for too long, was making that too dry. So let's cut myself a really little slice, because this is my son's pizza, and he's going to run off and eat all of this. But I'm just going to try a small slice to see what it's like. Let's get that all onto a plate for him. Food ready! Good kitchen knife has about 50 different uses. Mind you, you should never really use it for like this. And if you are going to use it like this, be very careful not to ever point the blade at yourself. And be careful you don't scratch things. Here you go, here's your pizza. I stole a small slice. Can I have it? No, I'm going to try it for the video. I want your review for the video as well. Nope, that little bit of pizza's mine. Leave it. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Here's what it looks like up close. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Mmm. Mmm, really creamy. Really nice mozzarella. Bad blow on it first, it's really hot. Mmm. Wow, that's really nice and creamy mozzarella. It's really yummy. The dough's really nice as well. And it's cooked perfectly. Mmm. 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 A little bit too hot. Oh, that's cooled down enough for me to handle now. Metal. Radiates heat fast, absorbs heat fast. Okay. This one... I'm going to cut myself a very small slice off of this one as well to try. I'm going to make sure I get a bit with a little bit of ham and a little bit of garlic there. And my assistant has also wants me to uh, give her a slice of mine, so I will be doing. So that's the slice I'm going to be trying. It's got a little bit of everything. It doesn't have the very strong and large parts of the uh, pesto, so what I might do is steal a little bit from another part of the pizza, right here, and just dump some of it on, just so we get the full flavour. There we go. Because that's more... That's more representative of what the pizza is actually like. And uh, let's get the rest of this onto a plate. Oh, non-matching plates. You'll have to forgive me. And there we go. Let's see what, that's what it looks like. Let's give it a good try. Mmm. Let's taste it. Mmm. Oh my god. Really nice. Mmm. The ham and the pesto really, really do, really do suit each other. Mmm. Oh. Do you want one from the fridge? Just getting myself a drink. Pepsi Max, my favorite cola, by the way. Out of all of them, mainly because it's the least sweet. That sounds odd, but it's not the most sweet tasting of the colas. Mmm. Mmm. The dough on these is amazing, by the way. Mmm. Fairly impressive. Mmm. See if the dough tastes the same on the margarita. Let me just finish this one first. Clear my palate with some coke and... 
Why drink Pepsi Max when I'm having pizza? That's a classic food combination. Pepsi Max or Coca-Cola with burgers or pizza is like a classic flavor combination. Hmm. The lime and citrusy flavor of Coca-Cola with the caramel kind of sets off against the food very well. Hmm. There's a lot of citric acid and citric oil in Coke type drinks. Here we go. Hmm. Mmm. You can definitely taste the, the oregano or oregano if you're American and don't know how to pronounce words. And, mmm, the tomato sauce, I would say it's a little bit undercooked, but it tastes great. Mmm. Pretty nice sourdough. Mmm. All we gotta do now is wait for my pizza, the spicy one. And ba -da, just like that. It's like magic, just like that. It's ready. There we go. Oh, the smell off of this one. It smells so spicy and so meaty. This is the Stromboli. This is the spicy, spicy Calabrese and Valencia Salami. Mm, stromboli is such a nice sounding word. Sounds almost like an instrument. Very Italian sounding as well. I think that's pretty obvious, but... <clears throat> right. Impossible to cut this pizza without cutting through some of the uh, ingredients, unfortunately. Also, the sourdough is very crispy on the bottom. This one cooked in 12 minutes. It's a tiny bit over their estimate, but at 10, at 10 and 11 minutes, even though there weren't these dark spots, there, the cheese was totally yellow. And I didn't think, that, didn't think that was appropriate for a pizza. Looking pretty good. Right. One slice of this. Let's get ready for my wife. Yeah, that's a good one. Not the littlest one, the other one. My assistant, sir. Hmm. And let's try the other one so I can show you guys. Hmm. So here is a sort of typical slice of the Stromboli. Hmm. Mmm. Wow, that is quite spicy. Mmm. Wow. Yeah, very spicy. Mmm. Tasty though. Well, both the salamis are really good quality. Mmm. Mmm. The ground thing is really spicy, but doesn't stay on the pizza very well. I need some Diet Coke to calm that down. That's really spicy. Ooh. Mmm. Mm. Just rinsing off the knife so it doesn't get everywhere covered in spice, but mmm, yummy. Oh, I'm really enjoying that. Mmm, that's pretty impressive. So, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, <clears throat> this has been a lot longer than I was expecting it to be. <clears throat> so this will go up as an entire video all on its own. I'm going to have to make sure I uh, write down the names of the pizzas, but wow. Really impressive, really nice, really enjoying them. Mmm. Not 100% sure they're worth £4.50 each.
I mean, that just seems a bit much for a pizza you cook yourself. I mean, especially considering how small they are. But the quality of the ingredients is quite good. I will wipe that down properly later. And that's just so that spice doesn't end up staining the wood. I'm off to eat now. <laughs> Bye.